Hey, and welcome to episode 120 of the Guy Who Sews podcast. My name is Sean, and this is my weekly update where I share my quilting adventures. I'd like to welcome both new and returning viewers, but if you are new, I'd love it if you could take a few moments to say hi in the comments. Come see what I've been working on, what I've finished, and what else is coming up. But let's go ahead and get started with our works in progress. I got a lot done this week. I am super proud and super happy of everything I got done. I have works in progress to show you, along with some finished objects as well. The first one I want to show you is the Elizabeth Hartman's produce section, which I've been working on on and off over the last few months, and I made two blocks. The first one is the watermelon, which you may have seen on my live yesterday, and I think this thing turned out really, really cute. It's all made out of solids, all scraps except for the background. I think this one turned out really nicely. So that's the watermelon. And then last night, I went ahead and made the mango using a bunch of different ombre fabrics that I had left over from a previous project. I think this one turned out really, really cute as well. Let me know in the comments which your, what is your favorite fruit that I've made so far. We've got the mango, the watermelon, and then the previous ones are the cherries, pear, strawberry, orange, peach, once I pick it up, and last but not least, the banana. So let me know which one, I'd like to know which one your favorite is so far. The other one, other project I've been working on as a work in progress is one of the t-shirt quilts, and this thing is a monster. It measures out about 85 by 90, I believe, and I've got a nice lavender sashing on it, and I went ahead and made the quilt sandwich yesterday, and we're using this wonderful background fabric. So you will be seeing this come together over the next couple of weeks as well. I need to get that finished sooner rather than later. So that's what I have for my works in progress. I have a lot more to show you later on in the episode. But before we do that, let's go ahead and do our week in review. And if you're new to the channel, this is just a series of videos to take during the week, mostly of me sewing, but also of any adventures we get up to. And we also try and include some of the dollars. I hope you enjoy. Last week I asked everybody if they'd ever purchased a new sewing machine or other object that they were a little nervous or frightened to use. And many of you said yes to that question, so thank you for answering those questions. I always love hearing your responses. This week I was curious to see, out of all the sewing machines you've ever owned, which one has been your favourite? I think many of us have gravitated towards a particular machine for one reason over the other. And for me, it's definitely, I, I love both of my machines. I use my little brother for all my piecing. It just works beautifully for that. And then I have the banana that I used for the quilting itself. I'd love to hear in the comments which one has been your favorite over time. So my goals for this week, the first thing I want to get done is work on some quilting on this t-shirt quilt. I need to get this thing done because I have a couple other projects that are kind of time sensitive. I also need to get the Carnival Puffs Remission Quilt blocks assembled because I'm going to be part of the um, presentation this Friday and in order to do that it needs to be finished right and then thirdly I'd like to get some more work done on some of my other projects maybe the Alice in Wonderland one let me know in the comments what your goals are for this week and now it is time for our news and events I had a few videos come out last week and if you've missed any go check them out they're a lot of fun on Monday I had my investigating quilts and this was a fun take on a t-shirt quilt this was unlike anything I've ever seen before Go over and check it out if you haven't seen that yet. It's a lot of fun. On Wednesday, I released the Clue 9 time lapse of the Carnival Puzzle and Mystery Quilt by Cotton Cuts. And it was, it's a fun way to see a whole clue come together in just a few minutes. And then yesterday, I had my friend Beth from Goody Goods come on and hang out with me during my live. It was a lot of fun hanging out with her and um, catching up and just, you know, that sort of thing there. Sometimes this is the only way I get to hang out with my content creator friends because we're all super, super, super busy. This coming week, I hope to have another episode of Investigating Quilts come out. I'd like to get a time lapse out of the Dormouse block from the Alice in Wonderland themed sew-along that I'm doing, 
And then this Saturday morning, I'm going to have my friend Stephen from Bland Designs in the Idiot Quilter. Him and Walter were hanging out in Australia for about a month, and I thought it'd be fun to have him come on the channel, and we can sit there and chat about that, and maybe even get some sewing in. Last week, I asked everybody if anyone was interested in doing a Zoom event, maybe sometime during the summer, and make an Elizabeth Hartman pattern together. And I got a lot of good responses. A lot of you are very interested. So what we're going to do is we're going to make a pillow in the koala pattern. So that's the most popular one there. So we'll, um, you'll do one block, it will turn into a nice big pillow. And so here's what we're going to do at this point. Is it's going to be sometime during the summer. I have not set down a date just yet. The event itself will be free. So there's no charge for you to come and join in. It will be first come, first serve. We'll do a registration type thing. Um, but you will need to purchase the pattern because it is a copyrighted pattern. We'll need to put you'll need to purchase that, and the pattern is about 10 US dollars. So we'll have more details coming up, but it's probably gonna be sometime in June or July. Over the last nine months, you've seen me do the time lapse and lives of the puzzle mystery quilt, the carnival one by Cut and Cuts. And this Friday at 3 p.m. Eastern, you'll get to see the final reveal over at the Cut and Cuts channel. It's gonna be a lot of fun. You're gonna get to see myself and several of the um of the ambassadors and cut and cut staff showcase the final design and all the different colorways so don't miss that one out it's gonna be at 3 p.m eastern i hope you can join us for that one and so now it is time to show you some finished objects and i'm super excited to show you these the first one is one of the t-shirt quilts that i made this is a lap size quilt so a lot smaller than the one i'm currently battling with and so this is it here i used a nice cream as the sashing and then this wonderful background fabric. I found this on a shop in Etsy. I just absolutely love this. I've got like three different colors of this for different projects. And so this is it here. I think it turned out really, really nicely. I'm not going to show you the whole thing because it's going to take too long, but it kind of gives you an idea of what it looks like. So that's that one there. So we'll have more t-shirt quilts goodness coming up in the very near future as we have like two more to do. And then the other thing I want to show you is the Dormouse block which is part of the mad quilt party which is an alice in, alice in wonderland themed so along by art east quilting co and after many weeks we've finally got this block done you've seen the mouse you've seen the teacups and now the teapot is there at the very very bottom so if you really really tall so we'll pull it back and there we go so that's the whole thing together i think this thing turned out really really cute and it's going to look really really nice with the whole project when it's done in 2026 or whenever I get it done because I'm just enjoying the journey with it. Anyway, that concludes today's episode. I hope you enjoyed it. If you did, definitely hit the like button. Tell a friend and I always love hearing comments from my viewers. I hope you all have a great day. Happy sewing and we'll see you next time. Bye.